Laid back Mickey here. Today we're going to talk about why I wouldn't buy an upright trike and why I would buy a recumbent trike. So if you want to learn more about which trike will solve your pain points, go ahead and subscribe below. Let's talk about it and let's go back in time. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Back to 2010. 2010, I was going from a regular bike into a trike because I was looking for a comfortable way to ride. I knew there was different trikes out there. There was the upright trike and then there was the recumbent trike. Well, the upright trike, I always thought was a grandma's trike, right? It was one of those trikes that you would go slow on. It looks kind of like that. It looks like you're gonna go slow on it and you should go slow on it. In fact, nowadays they're putting motors on these trikes. And that's kind of a crazy idea to do because if you put a motor on a trike that's supposed to go slow, you could get in a dangerous situation. And so besides the fact that I said, well, they don't look cool, and they go slow, I need something more performance. So, so that's why I got into a recumbent trike. My first trike was a Greenspeed GT3. It was like a little lower to the ground than this Max, right? This Max is a little higher up off the ground, but I wanted something that I could get in easy and that had a comfortable back. If you look at this back here, it's just a regular seat with a little wooden and something squishy back seat. And so it doesn't support your back like a recumbent trike supports your back. And the seat is still a bike seat, and so you're still going to have problems with your butt and your coccyx bone. I wanted something that treated my, my back and my butt more like a hammock to where it supported me better, and I didn't get all that road vibration up in my spine and in my back where I was having issues at the time, and I didn't want that pain. On a bike or an upright trike like this, is you still are like this, You're, you got put pressure on your wrist and I didn't like that on my wrist anymore. I wanted something that was just more relaxed and comfortable and that's what a recumbent trike does. On an upright trike, if like especially with a motor, that motor still is a class two motor so you can get it going up to 20 miles per hour in a turn on this high trike. The problem is it makes it tippy and unsafe. I actually took this trike out and I, I got it up to 20 miles per hour and I went to turn it and it was scary. And so I, on a trike, you're a little lower to the ground, you're more stable, right? And it's more natural. It doesn't feel like you're gonna tip over. You just lean into the turn a little bit. You lean on this one and you feel like you're gonna tip over. And in fact, the manufacturer on this particular trike in their instructions says, don't go faster than five miles per hour on a turn. Why do you give me a motor that will do 20 miles per hour on a turn if I shouldn't be doing that? Also, this doesn't have a rear differential. And so when you come off a curb, one wheel is spinning and the other can't, can't spin. And so you can get stuck or you can get in a weird situation to where it actually will throw you off your trike. This is called a Delta style where there's two wheels in the back and one in the front. You take a green speed Anura, which is a Delta trike. It has two wheels in the back, one in the front. That has a rear differential, but it also has a recumbent relaxed seat. It's still a recumbent trike, but it's a Delta style versus a Tadpole style. A Tadpole style trike is gonna give you comfort. It's gonna give you stability. It's gonna give you easy ability to ride. You don't need a differential on a tadpole style trike because all the power is in one wheel, you're not putting it on two wheels. This one is just not designed for riding like a regular bike. Like if I were to keep up with my friends on the bike trail, I would not keep up with on this thing here. I'd wanna keep up on my recumbent trike. You can keep up faster. And plus you can get a lot cooler styles of trikes in the recumbent trike world. Like I ride the Ice Sprint X, it's fast, it's beautiful, it's sleek designed, and you don't really get that in the upright trike world. You don't get like, oh, I wanna ride that, <laughs> right? It's just kinda like, yeah, it's there. It's If you wanna go slow around the block, it's fine, but why would you put a motor on it? It just doesn't make sense. But on a recumbent trike, yeah, put a motor on it, put a Bosch, put a Shimano, put a Buffong. Trikes will handle the power much, much better. So a lot of times the reason why people do get a upright trike is because that's all they know about, right? That's what they've seen their grandma ride, you know? And these have been around for a long time. 
And recumbent trikes uh, have been around for, you know, the, in this design for about 30 years and really popular for the last 15 years. And so they just know it, but they don't know that there's a much more comfortable and a much more stable option. It's, I think it's just a matter of fact that they just don't know that there's a better option. So a lot of people think that buying an upright trike will give them the stability and give them the comfort that they want, but it's still a bike just with a third wheel. Because you still got a bike seat, you don't have a recumbent seat that supports your whole skeleton, and for the back, it's really not that comfortable. It's just like a hard piece of plastic that isn't that nice mesh comfort feeling that you feel on a trike. And then for stability, right, it's, it's still high off the ground like a bike. And you have a third wheel that doesn't have a differential. So it could be more slippery and it cannot traction right. It's still just a bike with an extra wheel. And then for comfort, you still have handlebars up here. You're not laid back, all comfortable, relaxed. You still have all the pain points of a regular bike with the perception that you have stability. But ultimately, when you're going around a corner, you're coming off a, a curb, you don't have the stability that you have on a recumbent trike. So that's why I didn't buy an upright trike and I went with a recumbent trike. A recumbent trike solves all my pain points and an upright trike just is still a bike and it didn't solve any of my pain points. It just had an extra wheel.